Hey everybody, Bad Merc here today. Today I'm going to be reviewing uh, Merry Boys by Carl Stepan. And uh, I got the um, patch tier right here. And it came with all this stuff. It was just about 30 something bucks. You got uh, Merry Boys 1, 2. Also got these awesome art prints right here. Can't really beat it, man. Um, making of book right here. And this patch. Off, like It was just a great deal. I jumped on it just in time. Um, it's all sold out now, so you guys definitely want to check that out um, when the next Mary Boys books come, uh, book comes out. So uh, I seen this book. Um, I don't know if it was like a year ago or something like that on the uh, EVS show, and uh, I saw the I just saw this image right here, and I was like, I'm gonna back that book eventually. It was a striking uh, Gothic architecture, and I'm, I'm really into that sort of thing. And then it had these uh, four interesting characters, and uh, that I was always intrigued by that. Um, I love the way the format is too. It's different than the American style. It's uh, I believe this is a British format. It's a little bigger, and um, yeah, the the book is just uh, illustrated beautifully. It's uh, a lot of inks and ink washes and just uh, awesome storytelling. Um, it's it's um, got these four characters that are uh, they're these brothers and they're Templar knights basically, and um, they're fighting all the scum and filth and crimin uh, criminals in their town. And uh, it's kind of uh, reminiscent of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So if you're into that, you're definitely going to love this. And um, if you're into like heavy metal, that type of art style, you're really going to love it. And that's the guys right here. You got Harry, Chaz, Philip, and William. And uh, basically they're, um, they're born with the uh, ability to... Um, to drink when they drink alcohol they get superhuman strength and uh they they can't they can't grow hair they have um extra large hands and feet and they're just really cool characters there's a there's a father in here that raises them and um he's a hardcore alcoholic and um the origin story of this is is pretty crazy um i don't want to spoil it too much but they have a nice they have a cool hideout it's this abandoned church i really love this piece right here Every 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 page on here is a work of art. This whole this whole book is an is a work of art as far as I'm concerned. Um, love the ink wash. I could just stare at it over and over. I can't wait. I'm gonna go back and uh, drool over it again after this. Definitely check it out. Um, this is a so that's the first book. I'm not gonna go too much into it. And this is the second book right here. This is a parish. They're um, Basically, their father figure. He's a, he's the hardcore alcoholic I was telling you about. <laughs> he's pouring out some, looks like some uh, some vodka for the, for the street dog. And um, yeah, the story picks up, and he, this is pretty much the origin issue where they kind of go into where the um, where the kids are from. Um, now, where the kids are from in here, uh, it's 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 pretty um, pretty on the nose for something that. Um, that that really hits home with me as far as the way I stand on certain things, um, and uh, my wife as well too. Um, my wife really loved uh, really loved this book. This was her favorite comic skate book, um, just by the origin of the creation of these characters and how the father dis uh, discovers them. Um, I loved it too. Definitely, uh, you guys check it out. This book is awesome. Um, right now, it's. Uh, it's uh, in demand right now if you want to check it out. It's on Indiegogo. And uh, he still has the uh, two comics for, um, I believe it's like 35 bucks, and it's a great deal. You get this awesome, uh, you get this awesome, uh, two, two big, you know, comics, you know what I mean? And you're going to get the, um, the PDF of the uh, Sparko graphic novel. So you guys want to definitely check it out. Come over to this page. It's, uh, it's on Indiegogo. Look up Merry Boys. And you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna fall in love with it. Um, also, if you guys want to, you can check out um, my Indiegogo right now. It's Butch Cleaver. It's a um, book that just launched a few days ago. It's about a brutal butcher who's killed and he's brought back to life by a voodoo curse, and that gives him the power to weaponize bone on a molecular level. So he, he uses that power for revenge, reckoning, and redemption. So he's got all kinds of bone weaponry right there, bone saws and cleavers and six shooters, and he's got his bull right there. If you want, come over and check out my uh, Butch Cleaver page on Indiegogo. We got um, we're still sitting at a uh, 1,200 right now with um, 24 backers, which is awesome. So if you want, you can check it out. I'll have the link in the description. 
And uh, yeah, Merry Boys, man. Uh, two two horns, way the fuck up. It's one of my favorite comic skate books I've I've got so far. It's like I said, it's my wife's favorite too. Um, it's great. If, again, if you love TMNT, you love like '90s style comics and uh, like uh, awesome British comics, you're gonna you're gonna fucking love this book. I give it a two horns, way up. And I was also at the beer store today. I came upon this um, Trooper Premium British beer. It's the uh, Iron Maiden Trooper. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, take a crack at it. I think it's probably like about yes, yeah, four point seven. Also, this uh, book came in this awesome packaging right here. It's taken taken care of. I'm gonna pack it back up because I don't want any, uh, I don't want it to get damaged after I look at it a few more times. Let's let you guys stare at that. And I was uh, looking in the. Um, I'm so glad I got the making of book too because he really talks about how he likes. Uh, gothic architecture just like just like me so that's something to me and this artist sharing common um, but yeah there's that right there let's try this premium british beer uh, oh yeah it tastes pretty good a little bit of bitter i like it i'm sure the four knights templars would uh definitely agree on that i give that a uh, iron maiden trooper premium uh, premium british beer two horns up as always, folks, if you like metal, you like movies, you like brewskis, and you like comics, then stop on by, ring that bell, smash that like button for metal, movies, and brewskis. You folks have a great day.